Hello, let's learn some basic reactor. First, let's start by setting up our scene. Number one, draw a box. This will be our floor. Number two, draw out a sphere and one more box. The sphere will be our cannonball. Now draw out three more boxes for good measure. These boxes will be our collision objects. Number 3. Now that you have your scene set up, select all of your objects and create a rigid body collection. Next, select your sphere and box 2 and create a spring. Number 4. Select the sphere, open the property editor, and change the mass of the sphere. Number 5. Now select all of our collision objects, open the property editor, and change the mass of the collision objects, and check the box interactive. Now let's test our animation, click preview animation, and click the letter P, but it did not seem to work. This is because we need to make some changes to our spring. Select the spring, and go to the modify panel and change the stiffiness, and shorten the length. Now let's test that again, shall we? Let's test our animation, click preview animation, and click the letter P. That seems to work. Step 6. First click the Utilities tab, and open the Reactor panel. Set the start frame to 100, and the end frame to 200, and make sure your scene has 200 frames. Now click the Create Animation button, and click OK. Now scrub the timeline. You can see we have some animation. Just for fun let's go back to the reactor panel, this time we will set the start frame to 0, and the end frame to 60. Now click the create animation button, and click OK. As you can see the ball will move forward then everything will start playing backwards, and then forwards again. I must apologize for the low quality of this tutorial. We at Flash Kidabra thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials please feel free to tell us, and we will do our best to get it up and running. Once again thank you for watching.